says, in India, when a woman is about to deliver the baby, her husband sends her to her parents' house for delivery, and he does not pay for anything. All the hospitals and delivery expenses uh, um, should be paid by her parents. If they do not, they, then they force them by threats of divorce and say it's their responsibility as it's cultural. Please tell me, isn't it the responsibility of the man to pay for his child's birth and delivery? Yes, this is true. It is the responsibility of the man to pay for all medical expenses of his wife. But what you're talking about is not a man. He who threat threatens his wife and her family with divorce if they don't pay for his own son's delivery expenses, he's not a man. He might be male. We have male donkeys, we have male bulls, but we don't have, not necessarily they are men. You see, the problem is not only in India, in such cultures that allow man to compromise his manhood. In such a culture, it is normal for such a male to demand from his future wife's family a dowry. Imagine, that was, that's so much fun if we had no Islam in our hearts. That would have been the best thing for a man like us if we were not Muslims. You get married and they pay you a dowry and they f furnish the house and they buy you a car and you dictate what kind of car, what model. What a beautiful life this is for someone who does not believe in Allah. A real Muslim does not take a penny from his wife if he's a real man. But if he's a male like the one uh, Amatullah is telling us who sends his wife to her family's house and then insist on her paying her own uh, uh, delivery expenses and hospital fee, medical fees and, and, and the likes. This is not a man, let alone a Muslim. We Muslims do not take our rulings from culture or tradition. We take it from the Quran and the Sunnah. And these people definitely have no idea what Islam is. And this is what we always complain of, of such specimens, such individuals who are Muslims by ID and not by reality. This is their Islam. It's written in the passport that they're Muslims. They have Muslim names, maybe, but they do not relate to Islam when it comes to such practices. May Allah make it easy for the people who live in such circumstances. Sayyid